Rice is the third most important cereal in the country, after wheat and maize. But before this cereal gets to your table, a lot of hard work goes into it, as I discovered from Moses Karedi, a rice farmer in Mwea, Kirinyaga County. It is here on this quarter acre farm that Moses is using the system of rice intensification, SRI. Moses, who doubles up as an extension service officer in Mwea, began rice farming in 2009. Like many other rice growers, Moses adopted the paddy rice farming technique, which has been in place since the 60s. Realizing that his crop was not growing as fast, he switched to the rice intensification method. Una wakati mwingine unatoa kuna kauka dio mizizi nayo ipate na hewa dio upate the quality rice. Land preparation for both paddy fields and SRI methods are the same. The only difference being that SRI uses less water. After land is cleared and flooded to soak, the soil is ploughed and leveled. Excess water is then drained. In the SRI method, seeds are placed on raised seed beds as opposed to being planted under water. Rice intensification is also unique in that it cuts by half the number of days needed to transplant the seedlings. Zamani tulikuwa tunaweka kwa nazari, kutoa kwa nazari ikiwa na 30 days. Lakini tunaona hapo unapoteza mazao kwa sababu mumea wako ni kama ilianza tilaring bado ikiwa kwa nazari. So tunahimiza mkulima kupanda between 14 and 21 days. Apart from saving on water and improving on the maturity period, the method also comes with a new high yielding seed variety. Sana sana average tulikuwa tunatoa kama 25 bags yes, yenye ukipima ni kama 80 90. Lakini kwa wakati huu mostly tunasema average ni kama 30 na kwa ngunia moja ukipima haiwezi kukosa 95 to 100 kg. In a good season Moses can make profits of close to half a million shillings. The intensification method is suitable for all rice varieties. Charles Njiru, the proprietor of Nice Rice Millers, explains. Here standard, uwa naangalia kira wakati wakati wakuliba, wanarete, uwa kwanza tunaangalia kama mchere ni mbishori harizi. Uwa tunaweresa kira wakati, wasi recycle mbego hile wanapanda. Hile wanapanda, waki recycle, mafuno yake itaweza kupungua. Observing these factors is important as it leads to better grain quality. Just like any other farming venture, this system of cultivating rice also has its own challenges. The method requires wider spacing to ensure more sunlight and nutrients for the crop, hence more space. Farmers are also subjected to continuous training regarding this method. Tukisema madbo ya intermittent irrigation hiyo ni kuweka maji ya rafu unagojea kukauke. Sana sana wakulima hawana ile timing. So promising is the method that it is currently being expanded to large scale irrigation schemes in the country such as Ahero, Bunyala and Kano schemes. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.